Almighty J explains how he finessed his record label, Atlantic Records. So, what I started doing was, I registered my home as a studio. When I was with Atlantic, I registered my home as a studio. They did not know that. So, when it go to a point like, okay, 2020, you got a 500,000 studio recording budget. What I was doing was saying, okay, I got a 500,000 studio recording budget. I'm about to go record at Ump Studios. Ump Studios that I'm going to record at is in my home. It's registered as an LLC. Ump Studios in my home. So when I tell Atlantic, yo, I got, I, I found a studio. These are the rates. I want to record woo 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 sessions over there. Send the money to them. Guess what? When they approve of that, the sessions were approved. That five hundred thousand dollar recording budget that I got, they're now sending the money to my LLC, which is registered as a studio, and I'm recording music for free at home. That that was another way on how money was being made without having to really break a sweat.